It's me, William Osmond, and today we're doing the unthinkable. We're gonna laser melt beach sand, I think. We're gonna try to laser melt beach sand. So we went and got some sand at the beach, and then we're gonna put it under the laser and melt it, maybe, maybe not. So I cleaned it just by uh, running tap water through it until I got most of the kind of dirty water out. Now it's sand, and sand and wind don't get along, so I've turned it down to like the lowest pressure imaginable. You can kind of see the sand moving when I bring it close to the nozzle. Hopefully this is enough air to keep any possible smoke from coming back up and dirtying the lens, which will cause the lens to be destroyed. The first test, it smoked a lot more than I anticipated, so I've turned the ventilation back on, and it's coated the uh, nozzle with this stuff. The lens is fine, so we'll put this back together. So we've definitely made something. I think if we hold the laser longer, we can make a much bigger ball. Safety first, test number two. I'm not really sure how long to hold it for. This one's fresh off the laser, might burn the paper. No? Test number three. Okay. way bigger. You can see it's glassy too, that's cool. That would make sense. So I've got myself a little hammer and a little piece of sand glass and I'm gonna smash the sand glass and I'm not really sure what I'm trying to accomplish. Look at that, it's just, looks like sand again. <laughs> so it's about three days since the last test. Things happened and I'm wearing the same shirt for continuity and it smells bad. But the next test is going to be laser sintering the sand. So we've kind of already been sintering but we're gonna now melt the sand in a pattern. So we're gonna try a circle and play with some different speed settings and different uh, focus settings to see what happens. This test kind of has just some scattered pieces. Look, it partially worked, but this looks really frail. Laser center test number two. And here we have, oops, a little more solid ring. It still kind of fell apart though. This test is gonna be a lower speed and more out of focus. Cause you can, you can see it almost looks like welding where like it kind of is forming a bead and the pieces start melting and kind of joining into the blob. I feel like I'm cleaning a cat litter box with a really tiny cat. This thing holds together really well compared to the other one. I mean, it's, it's not obviously, I don't think <laughs> indestructible, but the fact that it's surviving on its own uh, is pretty cool. We're gonna make some sodium carbonate. Now what sodium carbonate does is lower the mental. Melt this. The sodium carbonate is supposed to lower the melting temperature of the sand. I think, if the internet's not lying to me, putting some baking soda in an electric skillet for about 30 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius should convert into sodium carbonate, commonly referred to as soda ash or washing soda. And I think it's used to dye clothes. I'm not a clothes dyer, so. I'm also not a chemist. You can buy this in a store, and we probably should have done that. <laughs> the sodium carbonate has been cooking now for, well, it's been cooking for 30 minutes and sitting for two days or three days or whatever. But here is the sodium carbonate and here's the baking soda. You can see the baking soda has a much more fluffy, powdery consistency. And the sodium carbonate is more like sand. Let's put maybe 20% sodium carbonate into the sand mixture and see if that affects it at all. I'm gonna take the sand, dump it into a little Tupperware. Uh, what's 20%? Let's just... Yeah. This is the first test of the sand with sodium carbonate. So this worked pretty well by the looks of it. It's way bigger than the last one. So you can almost see it's a little bit shiny. And it almost looks like a solid piece. Let's try to break this apart and see what it does. Oh, it still crumbles. That section, well, it seems like there might be like weak sections. For this next test, we're gonna to try to raster engrave a solid piece of glass. So we've done a ring, but the smoothie board kind of sucks at rastering. We just found something terrifyingly wrong with the laser and we fixed it. And I think we might get a little bit better results. It looks like it's doing a better job already though. Well, everything is very hot, and it also worked a lot better than I ever could have imagined. Holy crap. It even sounds like glass. I did turn the air up halfway through, and I'm not sure if this is with the air on or, or with the air off. It's probably with the air on. 
It doesn't look as black though. Some of the sand actually looks kind of like a clearish glass at the top. So let's see how easily it breaks. Oh wow. It's like very crispy, almost like a really hard cracker. This is working so much better than it was. Oh, we need to smash this one with a hammer. It's hammer time, you guessed it. Oh, where did it go? <laughs> Everywhere. Turns out laser smelting beach sand into glass works really well. Um, they're not super strong, but I would be surprised if it was. Now we ended up smelting a circle, a star, a lightning bolt, a giant spiral, and a flying spaghetti monster. With the laser, what was wrong was the grounding wire from the end of the laser tube came undone from the power supply. And this is terrifying because the power supply is about 25,000 volts. And so even though it has the laser tube in line, it still is a high enough voltage on the output where it was literally arcing out of this jumper wire where it became disconnected into the frame of the laser, which is grounded. If you are playing with lasers, uh, especially something like this, they are only relatively safe. There's really nothing safe about this machine. And now it's time for the free coaster giveaway. The first winner is Hubbard's Handmade. You win three coasters. Peter Brown, I already sent you coasters. Caleb Kraft, you win three coasters. Say, hey, wait, oops, right there. Um, Will Bales, isn't that the BattleBots guy? Uh, you don't win anything. The next and last final winner is... One second. Matthew Hartsuck. Hart... Such. Hart such? Hart suck? Sorry. Uh, you win three coasters. Who likes their own comments? Now, that's the end of the video. See you next time.